Right now, we want to check in with Brittany Schaefer. She's out in Breaking News 1, I believe, on uh, 195 in the East Providence area. Well, hi, Danielle Patrick. We actually just got off of 195. We are by India Point Park. We actually wanted to head back down to the Providence Hurricane Barrier area just to give you an update on what's going on there. So as you can see, there are some emergency vehicles here. We have Providence Police. Uh, the road is blocked in this area. Um, and in regards to driving, there were a few cars on the road despite Rhode Island and Massachusetts officials urging residents to stay off the road. Now, as you can see, the rain coming down a little sideways at this time. The wipers are on. It's been raining really for the entirety of this morning. But if you can see what we're seeing, kind of the trees too moving in the wind, it does appear to be coming down kind of sideways to the right of us right now. Um, as far as the roadways and the highway, there doesn't seem to be a lot of flooding, really just kind of staying to the side of the roadway. So when you're actually in the lanes, we haven't seen anything too bad there. Um, of course, a couple small puddles on this street. Uh, what we're seeing here, nothing too bad. Um, now, Henri is, of course, expected to be a long duration storm. So Governor Dan McKee, just within the last hour, urging again Rhode Islanders to stay off the roads. He also wants to give emergency crews more room to be able to do their job with possible more power outages, uh, trees falling down, just anything that emergency crews would need to respond to. So for now, we're live in Providence. Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.